Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over my 2021 Unify setup. There's been a couple of changes in the network that I've made this year, so I just wanted to quickly go over those. So the first thing that I actually swapped out was the USG Pro firewall. I switched that out for a UDM Pro. Uh, also, that was replaced. That also replaced the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. And then I also swapped out my living room access point for a Unify 6 long range. Uh, reason for some of these changes, I was consolidating and simplifying, you know, the Unify controller and the Protect that was originally on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. And um, the other reason was the IPS services, the intrusion prevention service for the USG Pro, you would only be able to get 250 megabits per second uh, when you would turn that on. And I'm paying for 550 uh, megabits per second through my IPS or my internet provider right now. So I want to be able to fully utilize that. So with the UDM Pro, you actually get up to 3.5 gigabits per second. So probably won't be touching that anytime soon, but that's part of the reason why I wanted to switch. The other thing uh, with the Wi-Fi upgrade, I was only getting about 350 megabits per second on the AC lights. So upgrading to the Unify 6 long range, I was hoping to get much better than that. Um, and as I've shown in two of my other videos, I've been getting um, my full 550 megabits per second but also um, you, what you'll see is over iPerf, I was getting uh, 750, in some cases 800. Um, and the other thing too I noticed is some people are saying that because I'm running iPerf on a uh, virtual, well, technically it's a container, that could be another reason why um, I'm actually not getting the full gigabit, which some people have mentioned that they're seeing those speeds um, because the iPhone will show that it's connected at uh, 1200 megabits per second. So just wanted to note that. Um, so really quickly, I just want to go through my portal here, just show you guys some of the uh, settings that I have in place. And then hopefully if there's anything else you guys want to see in the future, just let me know. So first thing we have here, obviously is the dashboard for the UDM Pro. Um, it's kind of nice. It's different than what I had with the Cloud Key uh, Gen 2 Plus. So you can see right here your you know, real-time download, your peak usage. So I have mine set to 600. You actually can uh, put this in the settings to show what your max is for your uh, download and upload. Then over here to the right, you've got your clients. You can see the total clients and then kind of a breakdown of the type of clients. And then down below, you got your Wi-Fi experience. And then you can actually click here and see the different uh, access points. So if you want to specifically call up LR, or the basement AP, you can do that here. And it changes the graph. Um, and then right here, we've got our system uptime and then utilization. Uh, I gotta imagine that I'm not really gonna be pushing this thing too hard, so I haven't really seen much over 32% there. Um, next thing that I'll show is the devices. So as I mentioned, I replaced a UAP AC light here. Um, I do have a USB plug that I actually recently just got. It, had shown connected for a while. Um, I'm during my testing. I added some SSIDs, and then for whatever reason, it disappeared. So, if anyone has any um, troubleshooting for that, go ahead and leave something in the comments, and I'll see if I can get that fixed. Uh, the other thing that I added um, at the end of uh, 2020 were these USW flex switches. Uh, I got myself a three pack, so I'm utilizing two of them right now, and. Um, these are really nice because they are P they're powered by PoE, but then they can also um, dish out PoE to other devices. So uh, the one right here, uh, the office, I actually am powering a PoE phone with that one. So uh, I'll just quickly go through each of these and kind of what they do. So I've got the eight port PoE switch. That one is powering the access points. Um, it's also, if you saw in the video in the start, um, it's the top switch, and it's also uh, the one that's running all of the connections out to the house um, for the patch panel. Um, then I've got a basement AP. It's just a AC light. It's good enough for the basement. Um, there's We don't use uh, this one as much. I think if I'll sh I can show this later, but there's not that many devices connected to it. Um, like I said, I upgraded to a UC or the uh, U6 LR. 
so that's uh, Wi-Fi 6, whereas this one is Wi-Fi 5. Uh, I then also upgraded to the UDM Pro, and then I also have a US 16 150 watt. Uh, this is a Gen 1 switch that so doesn't have the screen on it, but uh, it's full PoE, and it's kind of just used for testing and then powering some cameras and a couple other things. And then, like I said, these new switches, the USW Flex, um, I have this one in kind of an entertainment center uh, to split connection between my Xbox One, uh, Sonos, and a couple other things. And then, like I mentioned with this office one, it's powering a phone, and then also um, I have it hooked up to my laptop so I can have an ethernet connection. So the next thing I wanna show are just some of the settings for some of this stuff. Um, I do have a couple of different Wi-Fi's. I've got my main Wi-Fi. Uh, this is just kind of where laptops, cell phones, everything like that connects to. And then I've got my IoT. So anything like a Google Home, uh, the little minis, anything um, like that, I have connect to the IoT and that's all fully segmented out. I'll probably put a description to, or I'll put a link in the description of uh, Crosstalk Solutions. I actually watched his video on how to set that up. So instead of me trying to explain it, I will have uh, that in the description because he does a really good job of that. And then I've got a work from home wireless. Um, with that, it's actually just a different subnet. For whatever reason, uh, when trying to connect to work VPN, it actually wouldn't work. And I don't know if it's because um, on their side they had the same subnet or whatever it was but I had to just create a, another uh, subnet just so that I could uh, connect to the VPN. Uh, next I've got my networks like I mentioned so got actually a VPN to come into my network I've got the IOT I've got my LAN and then I've got like I said that work from home that's on a, a different subnet. Then under security like I mentioned, I turned this on uh, so that I have the actual full uh, prevention system instead of uh, detection because I'm able to fully utilize now this 3.5 gigabits per second. Uh, I've got this all the way up to five and then I'm not gonna go through any of these other ones but everything else I have pretty much kind of turned on here. So um, then under system settings, have it pretty much set to defaults here. The one thing I actually just saw in one of uh, Tom Lawrence's videos is under new clients, he actually turns that off. So uh, when you go to the clients, you can actually see the port that um, the devices are plugged into. So that's good to see. Um, one thing that I wanna actually go over in probably a future video here, I don't have this turned on yet, but I do wanna turn on this Unify AI to see how that works. Um, I guess what it can do is it, it will try to actually change the channels based on uh, the interference that it sees uh, real time. So I'll probably make a video on that down the road, um, but we'll then right now go to the actual uh, channels that I currently have set up. So under the basement AP, I do have actually these bulls set up to auto right now. Um, they've actually done well that way, but I could probably just default them to, to what they are here. So I've got this one on six, this one on 155, and then really quick, I'll go over the actual config on these. So under the radio, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's only with the UDM Pro or whatever it is, but when I had the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, these would show up and all of a sudden, it literally just shows blank. So this is actually set to 20, I'm not gonna change that. And then this one's set to uh, 80. So I actually, I go with the 80 just for the uh, extra bandwidth on there. I know it creates a little more interference, but I haven't seen any issues with it. So, and then as I mentioned, these are both set to auto, but for anyone that does want to actually default them, in this case, I could change that to six, and then I could change this one to uh, 150, uh, what was this on? I think 153. So that's how you go about doing that. Uh, if anyone wants more details on any of that, let me know, but I also then usually do band steering, prefer uh, 5G. Uh, it's not really a requirement, but I like to see uh, the devices going over to the 5G there. And then just quickly over to the L6, or the U6 LR. Um, on this one, I just have same thing, auto, auto, and then this one is set to the 20, 
and then this one down here is set to the 80. There, there's also this HE60, which I haven't looked into too much, but I do want to actually explore that, so I might do a video about that down the road as well. Uh, the other thing that I briefly showed in one of my videos too is that you can actually change the uh, LED on these, which is pretty cool. It's not available on uh, this basement AP, which is the uh, AC light. So if I go to the config on that one, you don't get that same setting. So haven't changed the color on it yet, but it's a pretty cool feature that they have on there. And then the only other thing that I really wanted to show on here is kind of how these functions, so like I said, you've got uh, PoE coming in, this is where it gets its access from, and then over here you've got uh, the phone that it's powering, so that's what I was mentioning earlier. And that's pretty much it. If anyone has any questions or wants to go over uh, anything in more detail, please let me know and I'll do that in the next video. I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my current network and what I've got in place. Really appreciate everyone watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.